जब सोई हो तुम जाग जाते हो पहले रब के सामने तुम हाथ धाते हो फिर मखलूक की खिदमत में तुम झुक जाते हो दूध की ये नेमत हम तक पहुंचाते हो तूने जीवन की तस्वीरें रंगों में है ढाली तेरे दम से है आती हर घर में खुशहाली खुशहाली हो अनमोल खजाना है हर बीमारी हर तकलीफ से तुमने इन्हें बचाना है याद है रखना तुमने अपनी पैदावार बढ़ाना है आ गई और इल्म के हर पहलू को अपनाना है वो जो सेहतमंद कौम समझो हमने मंजिल पाली खुशहाली हो पहचान धरती होगी शान हमारी हम होंगे धरती का मान तेरी हमने खुशहाली की राहों में मारी है जान और तरक्की की ये राहे हम सब ने है अपना ली खुशहाली हो Assalamualaikum viewers Dr Nasir and Ruby Anam your hosts are back with yet another Dairy Hub training program and how are you Dr Nasir I'm fine Ruby Great you look very well Viewers water is life a vital part of our daily diet after oxygen water is considered to be the most important for both animals and human beings Today we will discuss the importance of water in the milk and meat production and role of water in animal health to talk on these issues we have invited dr mohammad ashraf dr ashraf has been associated with a multinational company as an expert on livestock for quite a long time come let's meet him assalam alaikum dr ashraf wa alaikum assalam dr ashraf thank you for being with us today please first of all tell our viewers what is the role of water in the lives of animals and what is its importance dr nasir Water plays a vital role in health of animals and their milk and meat production. Its importance can be construed from the fact that in order to produce 1 liter of milk an animal requires 4 liters of water. Moreover, water plays an important role in the digestion of feed, excretion of waste materials from the body and transportation of digested feed to all organs of the body as a carrier. The importance of water can also be realized from the fact that the animals can survive without feed for even 20 days but the loss of even 1/10 of water in an animal's body may cause its death secondly the production of milk can rise from 1 to 2 liters daily if a sufficient supply of water is available for the animals at all times dr ashraf how much quantity of water should be made available for animals in summer I could state an average quantity of water for daily consumption which should be somewhere between 60 to 120 liters. However, 
a heavy animal can consume up to 160 liters of water daily but one important thing to be considered is that you cannot give any animal 160 liters of water all at once it should be made available all day and night round the clock because 2 hours after feed consumptions animals require much water and thirst can vary according to different hours of the day the best advice would be to make a constant water supply available for the animals rather than serving them twice or thrice only because it's possible the animals are not thirsty at that time or they have not eaten as yet water consumption in animals depends on their feed weather conditions and the quantity of milk produced by an individual animal this was very useful information dr ashraf but i have a concern you said that ample water availability should be assured in order to increase an animal's production and even we have experienced it that free water access has positive effect on animal's health and production but a common factor among small holder farmers is that they lack resources or lack knowledge to improve their dairy farming practices and so considering that group what do you suggest that how many times in a day an animal should be offered water in summers i would recommend offering water 4 to 5 times and in winters it should be at least 3 to 4 times a day however i don't think that is lack of resources but rather traditional mentality in farmers which holds up their progress a motivated farmer realizing the importance of water would easily find a solution for example if a plastic drum is cut and three legs are attached to it in order to shape it in a form of a vessel which is in reach of animals it can be used to offer them water even if they are tied to their respected places dr ashraf what are the effects of dehydration in animals the immediate consequence of dehydration is decrease in production of milk if the animal is deprived of water even for one day a decrease of 2 to 3 liters of milk occurs the very same day the eyes of calves are badly affected and sunken which is prominent consequence of dehydration also because of dehydration their hides stick to their body and animals become weak and fragile as far as adult animals are concerned dehydration not only affects their production but also causes acidity in their stomachs which may cause indigestion and decrease in production doctor that was very well described you talked about calves previously could you tell us from which age should they be given water it is very important that when a calf is 3 or 4 days old the owner should offer him clean water but there is a misperception amongst farmers that calves should not fed on water let me correct this it is not water but dirty water which should be avoided because that makes calves ill so it is not water which causes stomach disorders but dirty water in particular it has been observed that in summers a 3 to 4 day old calves find great bliss in drinking water dr ashraf so we can conclude from your remarks that it is not just quantity but also the quality of water which is important what about water quality for adult animals it is extremely important for water quality to be good for them too as we have discussed earlier an average animal intake of water is 60 to 120 liters daily so can you imagine if the water is dirty how much microbes and germs it will take with it into the animals hence it is absolutely crucial that water is free from harmful germs and waste of other animals as well as free from unwanted salts let me tell you that if a dead cat is found in water even after it is removed and the water is purified through any means it would continue to carry toxins same is the case with rodents many diseases are spread through their rotting and decomposing bodies there are a lot of harmful germs like e coli which are transferred to water through animal waste and if that contaminated water is consumed by other animals it can cause a variety of diseases stagnant water is strictly forbidden for consumption it is just like feeding poison to animals which would cause health hazards 
in such conditions what to think for better milk production when animals lives are at risk water should be clean and pure and preferably tested at a laboratory because nowadays water is polluted with pesticides which can also cause changes in the ph of water undiluted salts or chemicals on the surface of water can also cause changes in water which may affect animals later and can also affect the water intake thus resulting in reduced productivity so finally water must be free from chemicals dead animals and other waste pollutants it should be tested from a laboratory and stagnant water is absolutely forbidden for consumption doctor this discussion has been very informative and our viewers must have gained a lot of usable new information some people say that the temperature of water also plays some role yes it does in summers acceptable temperature of water should be somewhere between 20 to 30 degree celsius and so also in winters डॉक्टर साहब आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया कि आपने आज हमें इतनी अहम बातें बताई आइए देखते हैं कि चौधरी अब्दुल हमीद और फजलू अपने जानवरों को कैसे पानी पिलाते हैं जी देखिए नाम जपो मौला नाम नाम मौलाना वेरी नाइस चौधरी साहब You sound more like a joker than a singer. How many times have I told you not to interrupt when I am practicing? Assalamu alaikum Chaudhary. How are you Saima ji? I'm fine. What are you starting at? Go fetch a chair for Saima ji. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, place it here. Please be seated Saima ji. Thank you Fazlu. and how have you been god is kind to me saima ji fazlu don't you remember it's time to offer water to the animals okay i'll untie the animals right Chaudhry away chaudhry hamid how many times do you offer water to your animals twice a day once in the day and once at night <laughs> but chaudhry animals can become thirsty any time of the day just like us oh but we cannot keep doing this all the time untying the animals and offering them water and again tying them is not an easy job of course i know that fazlu but there is a solution to it that is you keep the animals untied so that this place becomes a war zone no fazlu that won't happen seems as if you people haven't visited mia sajid's farm no we haven't seen it is there something special about mia sajid farm mm yes there is Tomorrow morning I'll take you and Fazlu there and you will see for yourself what I mean. Okay. We'll be ready to go. How are you doing, Chaudhary sahab? Mia Saab, I have brought Chaudhary Hamid and Fazlu to see your modern dairy farm. We had heard about your farm, so I have come to visit you and see what you have learned from abroad. Welcome, please come this way. This is my animal shed. Fazlu, what are you thinking? I have a question in my mind. Just one? Ask me. I am thinking how much time would be needed to untie sir water and then tie these entire animals? It must take 4 to 5 hours. No Fazlu, it's not like that because these animal are always untied and water is available right side in their shed. Animal eat and drink freely whenever they feel like it. Chaudhary Because of clean water and an open environment these animals produce more milk. If you keep the animals untied and they eat and drink according to their will it would help them in digesting their feed. So it would be wise for you to keep your animals untied too. But Fazlu is correct when he says that leaving the animals untied would result in animal scuffles. 
Praise be to God, Chaudhary Sahib, that you agree with something that I said. Oh no, Chaudhary Sahib, my animals are in open environment in front of you, and we face no such problem. Very well then, I will also make a water pond in my shed, and it will benefit me in another special way as well. And what is that? My animals will eat and drink whenever they want to, and so I would not need a lazy person like you. Oh no! Viewers, you saw that the animals were united at Mia Sajid's farm, which had a good and proper supply of water. If you want better production from your animals, keep them united all day and provide them with clean and pure water, just as Dr. Ashraf advised us. If pure water is provided day and night to animals, it not only increases their productivity, but also keeps them healthy. Water temperature also plays a primary role in keeping animals well. I hope dairy farmers will follow these instructions and would make their farm profitable by increasing the productivity of their animals. One point is very important for my farmer brothers to understand that by providing free aces of water to their animals, the production of their animals can increase by one liter per day. One point is very important for my farmer brothers to understand that by providing free access of water to their animals, the production of their animals can increase by one liter per day. Well, I would have definitely done so if I owned an animal. Now, will our farmers also do so? Dr. Ashraf, thank you so much for coming to our show and providing us with such important information. Now this episode of Dairy Hub Training Program has come to an end. Soon we will be back with another episode of Dairy Hub Training Program. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.